As you browse the internet, you might not notice all the traps and tricks used to invade your privacy and steal your personal information. Hackers around the world are getting more sophisticated, but with antivirus software like Avast, you have a chance to protect yourself. So today I'll give you an overview of Avast, both its strengths and weaknesses, so you can decide if it's the right choice for you. If you find this video helpful, feel free to click the link in the description to get the best deal from Avast and get started right away. When it comes to Avast, the first thing to clarify is that it has a lot of features, so many that at first I didn't even know where to begin. That's why I've grouped them into three main categories to help you better understand. Some of the core features include different types of scans, from basic to deep ones that target vulnerable areas like files and downloads. You can gradually increase the thoroughness of the scan from a full system check to a targeted scan, meaning you choose exactly which files or folders to scan. There's also the boot time scan, which runs before your computer fully starts to make sure no malware gets a chance to load first. You can also schedule automatic scans so you don't have to remember to run them manually, keeping your system protected on autopilot. Avast can be installed on mobile phones and tablets too, but in this video I'll focus on the desktop version. So what happens when Avast finds something suspicious? It will quarantine the threat, and then you can choose whether to delete or restore it. Otherwise, Avast keeps it isolated to ensure it doesn't affect your system. Avast also helps you stay informed about security weaknesses and whether you're being tracked. One way it does this is by scanning the dark web to see if your information has been leaked. Just check if your email is linked to any breaches and it will notify you. You can also add multiple emails if needed. When it comes to online tracking, you can enable the tracking prevention feature, but if you also install the browser extension, you'll get a detailed view of who's trying to track you and be able to control those settings more precisely. One of my favorite features is the option to completely hide cookies, meaning you'll never have to deal with those annoying this website uses cookies pop-ups again. Avast knows you don't like cookies, unless they're the ones from the bakery. Those are the basic features, but there are still a few extra tools I find super useful. First up is the VPN, which lets you connect to the internet through over 55 TAR as countries, adding an extra layer of security and unlocking access to global content. If you want to learn more about what a VPN is, I've included a video in the description. Next is bank mode, not for stealing money, just kidding, but a locked down encrypted browser provided by Avast that lets you access your financial information or bank accounts securely without being tracked. It's kind of like incognito mode, but way more secure than using Chrome or a regular browser. Combined with the VPN, you'll be practically invisible online because your IP is fully masked. I use this mode myself and find it very reassuring. There's one more group of features under the Performance section. These are tools designed to optimize your system's performance, such as updating software, files, or cleaning up unnecessary junk that might slow down your device. Of course, there are more tools for you to explore and customize based on your needs. But what's it like to install and use Avast? It's very straightforward. Just log into your Avast account, download the app, and install it. After about a minute, you'll land on the main interface. The first tab will tell you if your system is safe. It's right at the top, very easy to see. The other sections give you suggestions on what to scan, update, or clean up. Super helpful if you're not sure what to do next. Now let's talk about pricing. With the free plan, you can do the basics like blocking viruses, ransomware and malware, monitoring suspicious app behavior, and blocking intruders with an advanced firewall. It's a good starting point, but the free version comes with way too many ads, which can be annoying. If you're thinking of upgrading, I recommend the gold plan. It's the one I use. It offers all the features I need and more. It strikes a great balance between features and cost. Plus, Avast offers a 30-day money-back guarantee if you're not satisfied. Another bonus, no ads and not ads with the paid plans. And if you need help, Avast has a forum, kind of old school like the early 2000s, a full support center, or you can call them for free. What's special is that they'll help you even with issues not directly related to Avast, 
like fixing general PC problems, installing software, or setting up email. It's one of the most flexible and helpful support systems I've ever used. So in conclusion, if you're looking for antivirus software that balances features with cost, Avast is definitely worth trying. Just make sure you agree with their terms of service and privacy policy, which you should do with any product, really. And that's it for today's video. I hope it helped you understand Avast a little better. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.